What are you doing here? I thought I'd go in on holiday. Where to? Uh, Wales. Wales? But they're doing all that 20 mile an hour speed limit stuff there. Hmm. Yeah, they have got that 20 mile an hour limit, which uh, all the uh, Welsh brothers and sisters are complaining about, and rightly so. So, where else should we go, Carl? Well, I was thinking Scotland. Mm -hmm. Scotland. Scotland. Scotland it is. <laughs> Let's go! Tell you what I am quite surprised about, dude. I'm still loving driving this van four weeks in and I still get excited about driving it. Do you get busy in your undergarments? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Nice, that's what it's about. <laughs> so we're currently driving through Beedale. We're heading up to see a mate of Pete, who uh, Pete um, Ains is getting a top box from him, which will make his car camping experience a little bit easier. So we're actually heading to a festival called Dubs in the Dales. We're not actually attending the festival. This is where oldest friend's mate is. Now it does look like there's a lot going on here. Right, all this friend's got a roof box on loan from this man. Yes, very, very reasonable rates. Very reasonable rates, three pound a day, <laughs> not too bad. Plus deposit. <laughs> Plus deposit. Anyway, time to move on. So we've had a bacon butty, a cup of tea, and we're off again. Heading up to Vindolanda. Probably going to spend the night in that area uh, on the border tonight, I think. Got a car on the right. Rust bucket. Typical festival surroundings, isn't it? Yes, exactly. Oh dear God. <laughs> Tree huggers on the left. Tree huggers. Tremendous. <laughs> oh God, it's a bit. That'd make a nice cottage. <laughs> it would. It's a bit bouncy on the way out. Just going back through B Dale and back onto the A1. So we've turned off the A1 and we're now on B6275 to Pierce Bridge. We've been sat behind this bloody camper van for ages, bloody thing. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. We're not in a rush. Yay, that camper van's just turned off and we're off again. We've just entered the border for Northumberland. Another roller coaster road. Yep. So many long straight roads on this stretch. <laughs> Whee! We've just taken a slightly longer route so we can head into a town, get a few snacks, that kind of stuff. Okay. Not too far from here from this wall, and we've just had a quick pit stop and a bit of a. Nita's worried about these geese, look. Hello. Thank you. Yeah, nice bit of water this. Be good to get a boat on it. Looks like the ducks and the geese have mated. Oh, what do you reckon for that, Raf? For the backwash on that, that'll keep you in there. Far end has looked like it'd be the way through. Although it's shallow. If it's straight to quid, you'd be straight over, wouldn't you? <laughs> so we've just turned off and it's about a mile to Hinderlanda, which is where we're heading. Roman Road! Oh yes indeed! <laughs> so we're in Hadrian's Wall territory, it's something that uh, Oldest friend wanted to visit. We uh, he has a, an interest in like Roman history and so on. So we're having a little meander. Oldest friend wants to see a tree, so we're going to go and have a look for a tree. Yay! Are From oldest see... friend's point of view, it could be a lot worse. Could be geocaching. It's not just a tree though, but we won't tell you what it is until we get there. 
Yeah, could be geocaching. Could be geocaching. This path we're following actually follows Adrian's wall. Who's? Adrian's. Not Adrian. I said Adrian. Yeah, Silent Adrian. H. Silent H. Yeah, <laughs> Silent H is Yorkshire. Adrian's wall. He calls himself from Yorkshire. What a fanny. Neat is happy. <laughs> Look at that, rocking the walking crocs. <laughs> We've got to climb up that. I didn't sign up for this. Ready for a bit of exercise, Carl? Yeah, let's go, go up. Climb up. 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 It doesn't look that steep, but it's literally sheer. Sheer, yeah. Sheer. Check out those buns. <laughs> Good. Yeah, well done. This is a fun bit. Ah, made it to the top. And I'm barely out of breath. <gasps> Good view from up here though. <laughs> Hello happy face. So we've just come down there and we're now going up here. Hello bushwhackers and wankleberries. <laughs> wankleberries. <laughs> it's me, Carlos. Just uh, from a different alternate universe. Um, we're right up at uh, Adrian Brody's wall <laughs> and uh, just about go down there. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> go on, eldest friend, what do you think this is? Nah, no, tower. It's the crappiest tower I've ever seen. A bit close. Oh, there's a tree. There's the tree you wanted. Here we go. We found the famous tree that oldest friend was looking for. Apparently, this tree was in a film. I don't think it was the star, but uh, it was with Kevin Costner and Morgan Freeman. Morgan, Morgan Freeman. So you might be able to work it out from that. There we go. Look at that. Oldest friend and a famous tree. I don't know which one's got the thicker trunk. <laughs> Robin Hood, Prince of Trees. <laughs> All right, now the fun bit, <laughs> the journey back. Not mentioned about it before. <laughs> We're not. Yeah. All right, this is all a bit of a first for me. Never done anything that I can recall around Hadrian's Wall. Here we go, down, down the never, steep never. bit. There's people going down backwards here. <laughs> Look at this, this is the fun bit. Need to wait. Whoa! You okay? <laughs> See? <laughs> Tight squeeze, lass, isn't it? <laughs> Even tighter squeeze. Told you had a big trunk. Yeah. <laughs> and we're off again. Quite a popular area, this. There was no cars parked down here when we came. Roman roads. Roman, Roman, Roman. So we've done that tree that oldest friend wanted to do. Uh, we're now heading to somewhere that I found on the park for the night app near Otterburn to see whether it's somewhere where we can stay for the night. You can definitely tell the Romans were influential in road development around here. <laughs> Hella hills in this area. Oh, here we go. Whoa! Look it out. <laughs> Jeez. Wow, that opens up. Green church on the left. Yeah, seen that. This is lovely countryside, this. Just going through West Woodburn now. We're about four miles from Otterburn and not far from the Scottish border. Lovely little place this. We're just having a look somewhere to see if we can find somewhere discreet to stay for the night. Well there's there or we can have a look a bit further up. Go a bit further. Right, we didn't like that one. We found another one actually in a village which might be nice, so we're going to go and check that out. And this is the fun on this type of adventure. It's like, where are we going to spend the night? Who knows? So 
turned out to be a nice evening though. Currently around quarter to four at the moment. Still got a good two or three hours before sunset. Lovely around here, especially now the sun's out. Squeeze in. The bridge. <laughs> Yeah, I was just saying that on camera, a nice little bridge. So we're just driving into Elston village. It's a lovely little village. I hope this one works out. There's a pub. <laughs> Might even be some geocaches too. Woo! This is a lovely little area. I think this will do. What do you reckon? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, definitely. We've got bins over there. Bins here. I think there's a public toilet in the uh, village hall that we can use possibly. Yeah. Little picnic area here so we can sit and cook outside pub just down the road. I mean that's got to be a winner right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, love that little van. Do you think we should reverse it in then? I've just noticed down here. <laughs> look at this. Nice little bit of running water. And just over there look. Nice little weir. Goes underneath that bridge over there. Runs down there. <laughs> Isn't it lovely? This is one of those things that makes uh, these kind of little adventures absolute winners all this friend's already in his comfort zone <laughs> let's go and have a look see what that sign says so welcome to Elsden ancient capital of ooh Reddersdale not quite sure how to pronounce that nice little map of the village a few details and so on and the real winner for parking here is just up there there's the village hall, we've got access to toilets. Saves me getting my shovel out. <laughs> and as he's seen here, literally in surname and age, I've got to follow uh, his orders. So we're going to the pub. All this friend is rambling. You might have caught some of that. Yeah, we're going to the pub. It's up there. <laughs> you watch the water like they'll have dogs in, so we'll be coming back in about five minutes. We had a couple of beers. We decided to chill out, go to the pub before we cook. This might be a bad idea. Time will tell. What a lovely little village this is. And the good thing is, the pub's only just there where my finger is. Red pub. Nice. Nice. All right, we're back. I've got a solo stove, Mesa, Mesa, don't know how to pronounce it, tabletop, just on the go. Got my little alcohol stove here. This is new to me. I'm trying this out. Cooking lamb chops and that's going well. All this friend has got some bacon stuff going on. Yeah. Carl, what, what is the solar stove? Uh, what's the intention of it? It is a little fire pit, tabletop right. fire pit. It's just gradually taking now. I it, can definitely feel the heat from oh, right over there. It's got cat litter in. Oh, by the way, I'm not quite sure if you need to put the isopropyl alcohol right next to it. I have no idea what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. The little solo stove Mesa is now in full bloom. Look at that. So it's burning off the smoke. How cool is that? We've got lamb chops and vegetables on the go in there. Oldest friend is still stoking up on bacon. He's really going for it there. Oh, oh there we go, look. <laughs> and sauce. And we've just been given showers for the toilets. Uh, keys, sorry. Showers for the toilets. Showers for the toilets. We, we, I've had a couple of beers. We've just been given keys for the showers, which are just up there at the village hall. What a winner, winner. Dinner is ready. Oh. Oh, so good. All this friend has hit the hay. There's not an awful lot left going on in the little fire pit. I've still got a bit of beer left. Right, so I'm tucked up in my pit. No idea where the hell we're going to end up tomorrow. You know what to do if you like what I do on this channel. In terms of subscribing, blah, blah, blah. All right, you take care of yourself. 
I'll see you in day two. Cheerio.